All right, so here's the reality of cybersecurity portfolios in 2025. Everyone and their grandmother has built a keylogger, a Caesar cipher tool, and a password strength checker. These projects were cool in 2020, but now they're the equivalent of putting Microsoft Word on your resume as a skill. Recruiters see these projects hundreds of times, and they mean absolutely nothing because they don't demonstrate real-world problem-solving or business value. So we're going to fix that right now with projects that actually show creativity, technical skill, and most importantly, an understanding of how cybersecurity connects to business problems. Project 1. Build a file type identification tool using magic numbers. This sounds complicated, but it's actually beginner friendly. And here's why it's brilliant. Hackers hide malware by naming files image.jpg when they're actually executables. Your tool reads the file header to identify the real file type, regardless of the extension. This demonstrates understanding of how files work at a binary level, and it's immediately useful for malware analysis. Use Python to read file headers, compare them against a database of known magic numbers, and flag mismatches. This project shows you understand evasion techniques and can build defensive tools. Project 2. Create a phishing email simulator. Companies desperately need security awareness training, and phishing is still the number one attack vector. Build a tool that generates realistic phishing emails, tests employees, and tracks who clicks the links. Use Python for the backend, HTML for email templates, and a simple database to track results. The genius of this project is it demonstrates understanding of social engineering, which is how most breaches actually happen, and you can position this as a business solution, not just a technical exercise. Project 3. Build a network device scanner that maps your home network. This isn't just running Nmap. This is building a tool that scans for all connected devices, identifies them by manufacturer using MAC address lookups, flags unknown devices, and presents everything in a visual dashboard. Use Python with Scapey for packet crafting and a web framework like Flask for the interface. This project shows you understand networking at a foundational level and can present technical data in a way non-technical people can understand, which is a critical skill for security consultants. Project 4. Build a live cybersecurity threat dashboard that pulls from multiple threat intelligence feeds. Use APIs from AbuseIPDB, AlienVault, OTX, and VirusTotal to aggregate threat data and display in real time with visualizations. This demonstrates understanding of threat intelligence, how to work with APIs, and data visualization skills. Companies love this because it shows you can take disparate data sources and create actionable intelligence. Use Python for data processing and Grafana or a custom web dashboard for visualization. Project 5. Build a password policy analyzer that doesn't just check strength, but audits an organization's password requirements against industry standards like MIST guidelines. Companies often have weak password policies and don't realize it. Your tool evaluates their requirements, suggests improvements, and explains why each change matters using references to actual breach statistics. This is a business-focused security tool that shows you understand compliance and can communicate security concepts to non-technical stakeholders. Project 6. Create a Caesar Cipher decoder with frequency analysis. Everyone builds Caesar Cipher tools, but make yours interesting by implementing frequency analysis to automatically crack encrypted messages without knowing the shift value. This teaches cryptanalysis fundamentals and shows you understand both offensive and defensive crypto concepts. Project 7. Build a DOS attack detector, not perpetrator, that monitors network traffic for patterns indicating denial of service attacks. Use packet capture libraries to analyze traffic patterns, identify abnormal request rates, and alert when thresholds are exceeded. This is blue team focused and shows you can build defensive systems. Companies need people who can detect attacks in progress, and this project proves you understand the signatures of common attacks. Project 8. Create a secure file sharing system with end-to-end -end encryption. Build a web app where users can upload files that get encrypted client-side before transmission, stored encrypted on the server, and only decrypted when the intended recipient downloads them. Use proper key management and demonstrate understanding of encryption at rest and in transit. Project 9. Build an intrusion detection system using command line tools. Set up Snort or Suricata, document your configuration, create custom rules for detecting specific attack patterns, and build a dashboard to visualize alerts. This is advanced but incredibly impressive because most beginners avoid command line heavy projects. Companies need SOC analysts who can work with IDS systems, and this proves you have practical experience. Project 10. Create a web application vulnerability scanner that goes beyond just running tools. Build something that crawls a website, 
identifies input fields, tests for SQL injection, XSS, and CSRF vulnerabilities, and generates a professional report with remediation recommendations ranked by severity. This shows you understand web security, can automate testing, and can communicate findings professionally, which is exactly what penetration testers do. Now, here's what separates these projects from the garbage everyone else builds. Every single one of these solves a real problem that businesses actually have. They're not just technical exercises, they demonstrate business value. When you're explaining these projects in interviews, you're not saying, I built a thing. You're saying, I identified this security problem that costs companies money, and I built a solution that addresses it. That's what gets you hired. The key to making any of these projects portfolio worthy is documentation. Write a detailed readme explaining the problem your tool solves, how it works, what technologies you used, and most importantly, what business value it provides. Include screenshots or demo videos. Host the code on GitHub with clean commits and comments. This demonstrates professional development practices, which matter just as much as technical skills. Now, here's the part that actually connects this to making money. Understanding how to build creative security tools isn't just about getting hired. It's about understanding the business of cybersecurity. Every one of these projects could be turned into a service you sell to small businesses. The phishing simulator becomes a security awareness training service. The password policy analyzer becomes a compliance consulting tool. The vulnerability scanner becomes a penetration testing service. This is how you go from being a seeker to being someone who creates their own opportunities. If you like the way I break this stuff down and you actually want to learn hacking the right way, then check out Cyberflow's Academy, my private community. Inside, you get full step-by-step -step courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web hacking, OSINT, Python, C++, and reverse engineering, plus a private Discord where you can ask me anything and learn alongside people already getting insane payouts. You also get all my cyber docs, the cheat sheets, workflows, recon templates, OSINT checklists, exploit notes, and practical challenge-based labs that actually force you to apply the skills plus the $1,000 playbook that shows you how to make your first grand from hacking. And we include all my tools and setups, so your machine is ready from day one. If you want all that, courses, labs, playbooks, everything, it's in the first link in the description. See you inside.